boys and girls, and welcome to our sixth lesson of Writer's Workshop. And today we are balancing evidence with analysis. So the evidence that we collected, of course, are our beautiful quotes. And we worked on putting them into our pieces yesterday. And today we need to add on to this evidence. We don't just put in quotes and then leave it like that. You actually have to add analysis, adding those layers of richness and understanding to your writing. So today I'm going to show you just maybe one or two examples based off of what we did yesterday and we're going to refresh our memory. We added two quotes to my second body paragraph and I'm going to read exactly what it sounds like even though it looks really crazy with all of this stuff going on. We're going to read together and then I'm going to show you how we're going to add on and make this paragraph really beefy and delicious. Um, maybe chocolatey and delicious since we were looking at all those cakes. Haha. <laughs> um, pets are actually good for you. Uh, good for your overall health. Evidence suggests families with pets were better equipped to fight off infection than kids from non-pet households, showing significantly higher levels of immune system performance. It is said that families with pets are better equipped to fight off infection. I Wow, okay, I'm kind of going from one quote to another. I'm just moving from pieces of evidence to pieces of evidence, and that just sounds robotic. It sounds not like my voice. And so I really want to take this quote, and after my evidence suggests quote, I need to have an afterthought. So what I'm doing, I'm actually taking a look at this anchor chart here. Ways to push our thinking, and I suggest that you have this anchor chart up on your iPad while you're writing because it will help you. So I'm going to take a look at my quotes with this anchor chart, and it's, I've got my quote here, families with pets, better equipped, uh, higher level of system performance. Ooh, hmm. I think I like the sentence starter in other words. I'm going to try that one on. So I'm going to try that sentence starter. I'm going to go to a blank page since I clearly don't have any room here. And I've already started uh, right over here. So this is actually going to be number three, not number one. My sentence starter for afterwards is going to say, in other words, in other words, how can I make this into my own thought? The reason that I like this quote to begin with is because it's proving my point of having a pet can actually make you healthier. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually good for your overall health. Evidence suggests that families with pets were better equipped to fight off infection and higher levels of immune system performance. In other words, I really like this so far. It's adding my own thoughts into my piece and it feels more like me instead of just a bunch of evidence piled into one area. Now I can leave my quote here and keep it in order so that I know right after this goes this sentence and then it's all going to go in um, right before this part here. Like I said, it looks messy during your rough draft, but that's the way rough drafts are supposed to look. Let's go ahead and take a look at our quote number two that's down here at the very end. Now, sometimes it's powerful to end on a quote, but in the middle of my second, in the middle of my rough draft, in the, in the second paragraph, I don't know if it's good to just end on a quote. So it says, kids and pets are a winning combination. Pets can also improve attendance because kids want to come to come in and see their class pet. When attendance records were compared side by side, Oh yeah, research indicates when attendance records were compared side by side, researchers discovered that kids with pets averaged more days at school every year than their pet-free counterpart. Hmm, okay, I'm going to take a look at these sentence starters again. Hmm. Ooh. This proves. I like that one. That one might be, gives me the idea that this is an example I like this proves because I do think that my quote is proving something. So I'm going to take my number two quote, go back to our page over here, write the number two down because this sentence that I'm writing in red will come right after quote number two. 
and it says, we were going to start it with, this proves... There, I have a one juicy sentence for after this quote. It reads, this proves that children are coming to school because they have something extra to look forward to, their very own class pet. Wow, that's a really nice ending to my body paragraph. Hopefully this shows you that you can use this anchor chart with all of the sentence starters to add on to your thinking when it comes to adding our quotes in. Boys and girls, please don't forget that you need to do this for every single quote that you have. You're adding your thought to all five of your quotes uh, and they should be taking a picture of that. Also, I need you to finish your five paragraph essay with at least five sentences per paragraph. You should have more than enough to be able to do this. This is your last day to finish your rough draft. Good luck, boys and girls. I can't wait to see your own. See you later.